Hello everyone, I'm Pat Faveri and um, I just wanted to um, show a little video of how I edit uh, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword because this right here is the ending. So yeah, the series is going to be ending soon. Uh, actually, tomorrow, which is the day after I record uh, uh, this how to edit video, but um, it's been uh, like a week since I recorded The Skyward Sword. So um yeah that's that's going to be it's going to be a huge thing as you can see the video is about 53 minutes I'm sorry it's so long but I didn't really want it to split anymore because it's more cutscenes than anything it's like 25 minutes of cutscenes so if you take the cutscenes out it's just like half an hour and not even that because that's 25 minutes of ending cutscenes and like 10 minutes of starting ones so yeah <laughs> um that's a thing but uh, for example, I I know um, I don't know if a lot of you know how to use this program, this editing program. Um, it really gets stuck a lot, so probably I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be cutting a lot in this video because yeah, you can see it clips right through. But um, let me just get started. In order to get the videos in here, what I do is um, record using my Elgato video capture. And I use Audacity, which is the same thing that I'm using right now to record my sound. Um, then again, we then um, I then have my videos saved here in the movies. And uh, what I do is um, I just put up here and I just look for the recording session over here, which, for example, this one should be Skyward Sword Skykeep. So we get. Uh, I'll, I'll let you look at everything in here. I know some of this is gonna be on the final episode, so don't worry. Not many spoilers ha can be seen through there. Um, so yeah, that you get to see it right here. I just click it and start dragging it, and I drag it on over here. Just let let it go, and from there I can come and put it over here. It's still stuck, as you can see. So it's it is kind of a crappy a crappy. Um, program but it works really well and it has got on the videos a better quality than when I, when I had when I used iMovie so uh, that's a thing now then uh, then again I have my audio recorded right over here this is uh, the audio for the ending of Skyward Sword uh, it is a completely separate file um, I won't be listening to myself because I can't stand my voice <laughs> um, as a lot of people don't do a lot of people can't stand their voice this one is for an extra episode because yes there's going to be an extra episode for Skyward Sword which will show all the things all the um all the cutscenes from the uh Sheikah Stone the super guide function in in this game so you uh, you click on this and drag it on as well over here um onto the Skyward Sword ending thing because that's the name of my project um, and I also have some things over here in my Let's Play carpet, um, I mean, binder, Sh crap, I, I can't even name these, uh, and my, uh, Skyward Sword folder, my Let's Play folder, uh, I have some images, and I have the images for Counter, which I used for the heart containers, the pieces of heart, and the goddess cubes, I have images of the dungeons, which right here are the sky keep. What I do is I usually grab some of the images I have for items, gra grab them and put them into Photoshop and try to do these. Uh, just go putting some um, shadow effects on them. It's really basic Photoshop. I can't really do it. Uh, I can't. I don't know how to Photoshop really well. Um, I then have the images for the items. Usually, I took in the um, the models. For, I googled the images. So of course, all the credit goes to Nintendo and the people who uploaded them to Google. Um, and I have some pictures of the o overworld. Now, this is the only one. This and this are the only ones taken from artwork. Uh, Lanaru Desert. I actually took uh, off game. Lake Floria also took taken off of the game. As well as Lanaru Gorge, the Temple of Hylia I created with the Fire and Woods one. Uh, I had some. Uh, I did it with some effects over here, in um, in Premiere Pro. Some audio. Uh, I mean, some video effects, and then I took a photo of it. So now it's a separate thing. So this is what I used when Link goes into the past era, into the Temple of Hylia, into the sealed grounds, uh, uh, in the era of the past. 
And uh, I had another one for the Land Over Sea of Sand, and I had uh, another one for Inside the Volcano. But uh, unfortunately, those are not going to be able to be shown because my computer crashed and I lost them. So, yay, dumb. <laughs> okay, so that's what I used. Uh, you just I just click them and drag them on over here. So I'm just going to cut now up to the point where I can use my editor because, as you can see, it's a little bit... A little bit crappy, it gets stuck a lot. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Okay, I'm back. So uh, what I usually do is, from here, you can see a lot of stuff over here. From here, I just grab the image and I put it down here. Uh, it usually looks a little bit small, so what I do is double click it and then stretch it so that it covers the rest of the screen. Uh, it's it's not really that wrong. By the way, the window that I use them is the um, effects. Um, the workspace that I'm using is the effects workspace, so that is a thing. Um, so yeah, um, so then we're gonna go a little bit into the details. Of course, I have this over here, the watermark that I had over in Scoured Sword videos. Uh, what I do is just use the vertical tool, uh, t vertical type tool. I have a really dark, uh, not really dark, but just a dark red color, and I downgrade the opacity by a 50% using the Triforce font. Uh, you can find it pretty much anywhere uh, in, on the internet. You just have to Google it, Triforce font, Legend of Zelda or something. Um, and by going in here, I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. You can see a transition over here. It, this is uh, a smaller transition than what I usually have, uh, because usually transitions in between areas or sections are about six seconds long. Um, and to edit that, I only have to like stretch it a little bit and uh, click on it, then it will change right over here at effect controls over here. Um, it would change and I can move it up and down, I can move the start or the end of the uh, play, so if I showed the actual sources I could see um, for example in here the Fire and Woods and from here the Temple of Hylia's uh, photograph. So yeah, now usually for Impa uh, in the past, uh, what I do, let me just show you, is um, I tone down a I tone I have my pitch go up a little bit, so I use the pitch shifter tune, two um, two semitones up in the pitch. I keep the format preserve on. I don't move the sense, however, for the fine tune. I don't move them at all. So that is the way that I do impa. And now uh, the other thing is this last video. I don't I won't be having the background over here because I would have had to put up a dark setting because all this as you can see takes up a part takes a part in a really dark setting and I did not have something for this place as you can see I didn't have a background for this and a photo would be pretty confusing because it also changes colors in between uh, the final fight. Now um, let me introduce you without spoiling there is a character it's called Demise you already knew about him but the way that I do his character uh, it's also pick pitch shifter but with him, I do not keep the format preserve on. I have a plus 35 cents on fine tune so that it sounds a little bit different than my normal voice. And I usually have, and I do have a minus three semitones on here because my voice needs to be out very, very deep. I have that, and I also have a reverb because, of course, this kind of text is not normal. So I do have a little bit of reverb. Uh, the custom setup for that can't be seen completely if I have the screen this size, so the individual parameters are right here. If you want to pause and take a look at them, it's really easy to see them. Don't really have to explain them all. Now there is also another character that gets a, another uh, audio thing. Uh, it's actually Giraham. I don't know if you liked my impressions of Giraham in, in the game. I really enjoyed trying to talk like Giraham. Like, it's all fabulous and fancy up to a certain point, but at the same time, it's just anger. It's just so much anger trying to flow out. So, I tried to do my best when I'm talking like Giraham, but for this version of Giraham, um, I go uh, in a minus three semitones and I put a minus 50 cents on the fine tune uh, with the format preserve, uh, preserve on. So that way it sounds just like me uh, talking like Kirahim, but a little bit in the darker in a darker tone. But at the same time, it adds a sound effect that is added in the game to Kirahim's voice to my voice. So it sounds a little bit different. Um, that's what I did for that. And um, well, this is something I did throughout the entire Let's Play. Fi. 
Um, let me just put put it here where there's no 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 big spoilers. Um, so yeah, I'll put it right here. Every time I saw this little kind of window coming up in the game, I had to pause, cut uh, in the audio, and wait for the thing to end. So uh, after that, um, what I did is grab the pitch shifter. Um, oh, right. right. Uh, grab the pitch shifter right from over here at the effects. I'm going to go to audio effects. It's all the way to the bottom. Grab the pitch shifter, drag it on, put the custom setup and put it all up. That is why I usually talk calmly when I do phi. That's why the uh, the volume for phi is usually pretty low. Now let let me put this up so that you can hear it. However, I have come to consider the information corresponding to our time together among the most precious data I have on record. Now it sounds a little bit weird at times because my voice spikes a little bit. But uh, that's what I usually did for Phi, and I usually talked really calmly so that it didn't spike, and it really sounded like a, a female robot, uh, because that's what Phi is. It's a character created by Hylia, um, and it's kind of like a robot. That's why she speaks that weirdly, always saying, oh, there's a probability of this, and oh, there's a probability of that, and oh, you should be doing this, and there's a time of, there's a probability that this is the correct thing to do. Um, I, I think that's because, that's why, because she's kind of like a robot, um, and she is a female figure, so that's just the voice that I decided to give her. Now, the rest, um, I don't know, well, I don't use any effects for Zelda, nor for, uh, the old lady back at the sealed temple. And, uh, with all that, the only thing I can say is, um, thank you for watching, thanks to Nintendo for making this game, um, I still, I, I almost never makes sense out of myself putting let's play credits at the end because I almost always do them by myself but um, I feel like it's an important part of completing a project just having credits and thanking the people that I want to thank um, and of course the company that makes the game this key is Nintendo and most of the cases Nintendo uh, and obviously you guys for watching my let's plays I always have that so in order to edit uh, to enter all these I just go to titles new title and I uh, usually for these like the one that I have he, uh, here or the text that I had at the end of each video I go for a default still but the way that I do let's play credits usually it's title new title and default role or default crawl once I am over there, let me just show their preferences, I can go right here into roll crawl options and start going like crawl left or crawl right and roll. And it can be started off off screen and ended off screen if I want to. I'm not really going to do that for this because it's just stationary text. And um, I have another little piece of text right here, like the last question of the let's play. Uh, of course, there's going to be a, uh, there is a previous video, of course, but there is also going to be a next video, which is the extras for Skyward Sword. Um, also, of course, the subscribe button is always there, um, and the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword logo is in the back. So the last question is, if you enjoyed the uh, Let's Play, and which Zelda game would you like me to Let's Play next? So that is a thing. You can also comment on this video uh, to answer those questions. And um, let me just say, I had a lot of fun going through the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for you guys, and I had a lot of fun playing, I had a lot of fun even going through the game a second time after my computer crashed, and, um, well, all, all these are going to be stored in a hard drive for later, all my videos. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys so very much for watching this this let um this show, how to edit the Let's Play uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So, um... I hope you are looking forward. Uh, well, I hope that you enjoyed the the finale because this is gonna go a day. Uh, this is gonna go up a day after the finale goes up. So that's just a little thing. Um, I just didn't want to spoil many things here because a lot of people have not played the game, and I even though the finale came out yesterday when this video is posted. Um, I don't really want to spoil anything in this kind of video. If you want to go ahead and look at the Let's Play itself and spoil the game for you, for yourself, go ahead. But uh, I, this is not supposed to be part of the Let's Play. This is just supposed to show you the process that I go through by uh, when I edit the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So um, I, I shouldn't really be pu uh, putting any spoilers in here. That's going to be it for this show, um, this little section. 
on how to edit the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe to the channel, and rate the video. And of course, uh, watch the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Watch uh, Chibi Robo, uh, Plug Into Adventure, Earthbound Blind, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed the finale of Pikmin 2. Uh, the Piclopedia is coming is going to be up later on in the weekend. I don't know if later today or tomorrow. Piclopedia and Treasure Horde videos are going to be up. And so please do look forward for them. And I will see you guys for Super Paper Mario. And if uh, another project finishes soon, uh, DK64. Those are my next two Let's Plays. So... Thank you guys so very much for watching. Once again, repeating myself, and I'll see you guys later.